All right, here's my next steam engine. First, I'd like to talk about eBay. I uh, have been selling on eBay for years now, and uh, you get if you buy direct from me, you get 10% off, and um, free shipping on the West Coast to Colorado. And if you want to look for me on eBay, just uh, type in Steam Off Grid. Plus, when you buy direct from me, you get uh, free crating and palletizing of the boiler and engine. I've shipped many boilers and engines for years now. And I have no complaints that I know of. Sometimes the freight companies will uh, damage something, but I repair it automatically. You can check my uh, feedback on eBay. I have 100% positive feedback for years. And if you want to search my name, Ross Bendixson, on the internet, you won't find any negative feedback about me. This uh, steam engine has a uh, 3-inch bore, 4-inch stroke, and it's running an alternator. There's a really nice oiler on it that I've rebuilt, and uh, I'll turn on the steam. On the en steam engines, you always want to have the, either a top dead center or low dead center to start it. That way it'll start automatically when you turn on the steam. There are the blow down valves here. Thirty six inches long, entire engine, and wood base. It has a uh, sixteen inch pulley, D belt pulley here that drives the alternator. And with this RPM on the engine, it's only about 100 RPM. But on the alternator, it's at about 1,000 RPM. So if I turn up the speed a little bit more, it'll start charging. I'm running it off of one of my 20 inch boilers. That's also available. So I have all uh, kind of cooked now with um, an AC water pump. And plug it in here. And then open up the airlock. Now all the water is going out of the bucket here, and you can see it going down. It's going right into the boiler. So you don't want to overfill it, though. Just add it a little bit when you need it. Beautiful engine. Ran the first time on air, first time I put air to it. You got the timing down perfect. So you can see the oil inside the sight rod. pumping. And so these valves right here on each side, I open them about an eighth of a turn. All it needs to supply oil to the cylinder. This is the fill here. 
the drain here. Once in a while you need to uh, drain the water out of it. I'm going to pause it here. Just set it up. Now we're at uh, maybe 200 RPM. And the old is well over a thousand. 1500, 1250, something like that. Well, that's about it. You can call me at 206. 948-0770 or my email address is anacordofsteam at gmail.com that's A-N-A-C-O-R-T-E-S-S-T-E-A-M at gmail.com thanks for watching